From Red Hill to Jurong Lake District, the new E2I campus is named after the late Mr. C.B. Devon Nair, who was a founding member of the National Trades Union Congress and NTUC Secretary General from 1963 to 1965 and 1970 to 1979. The decision to name it the Devon Nair Institute for Employment and Employability was announced by NTUC Secretary-General Mr Lim Sui Se at the 2011 May Day Rally, marking the 50th anniversary of the trade union movement in Singapore. Since E2I began its operations in 2008, nearly 300,000 workers have passed through the doors of E2I, with many companies benefiting too, says E2I's Chairman Mr Ong Yi Kang. There are many people that will pass through. If you are an employer, I hope this is a gate where you pass through and then you say, wow, there is so many things that I can do with this institute to help make my working environment a, a much more pleasant one, including raising my productivity so that the job become more attractive and that this is also an institute where I can find workers to fill up vacancies for good jobs. For a worker, if you are been out of work for some time, this is an institute where you come, you can talk to a counsellor, and the counsellor can point you in the right direction to boost up your confidence, to give you some basic skills, whether it's English, whether it's driving, whether it's health and safety, whatever, so that you are once again employable. If you already have a job, but you have come here just to take a look what other opportunities out there, we hope also it's an institute where you can look at, well, with my current skill set, I can actually move into many other sectors where the prospects are better and I'll be more fulfilled as a worker. Workers of all types come to E2I. Typically, on an average day, we see about 50 a day, so about 1,005 a month, walking into a career centre. Uh, these range from rank and file workers, PMEs and even technicians. So within these three groups of people, I, I would think maybe about half walking in are PMEs, half are rank and file technicians. Uh, we see that, that, that range and we've got different type of programmes to target different range of workers. Besides serving as a learning and training hub for workers, E2I is also a central hub for several training institutes which have located the centres in the new sprawling institute. Some of these people that we see could be people who are currently employed in their organisation who um, are sent by their HR to actually upgrade them, their skills. Uh, at, at the same time, we will have people who are job seekers who are looking um, to um, find jobs equipping themselves so that they are ready for the work market. Now we can see there's a lot of changes in terms of like uh, people, they are better qualified academically. Of course, the, you can see my current intake, uh, uh, the ages varies. Uh, uh, people who are fresh from schools and also we have uh, people who career switch and trying to get into an early childhood uh, industry. So you can see they are better ready to learn and want to contribute in our early childhood field. Meanwhile, E2I is poised to meet greater challenges in the Continuing Education and Training or CET marketplace with the government undertaking a comprehensive review of the CET Master Plan. Whatever programmes we support must be relevant to them. And I think today, relevancy comes from learning as you do. Uh, for adults, there's very little patience and time to sit in a classroom for prolonged periods. You have to learn by doing, whatever trade you are in. And finally, if we can do all that, I hope to see a return of craft and trade. I think going forward, many good jobs, um, many, many professional jobs will not be in cubicles and office environment. You'll be out in the field, you'll be in laboratories, you'll be in workshops. Uh, where you practice not just your brain but also your hands and your craft, your trade uh, in services sector as well as manufacturing sector. Increasingly, I think this is the demands of the economy and which will provide good jobs and good profession for many of our workers. E2I says through growing partnerships with more than 2,000 employers, training providers, industry associations, government agencies, unions and solutions partners, it will strive to make more workers better workers, make more jobs better jobs and match the better workers to better jobs.